Welcome, 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 Ninjas. Kelly here. And today I'm going to go over a super, super easy ninja strategy to generate leads on Facebook, getting names, phone numbers, and emails, and how you can implement the strategy literally in the next 30 minutes. I'm going to show you in a, a real life example, walk you through how I did it. Now, if you like what I do, Below this video, there'll be a link for a 30-day free trial to the software that I use to create the ads. It's very inexpensive and yields massive results. So stay with me, and I'm going to walk you through this, especially if you've been having problems generating leads on Facebook. You have struggled with some of the technology. You've struggled with getting your lead cost down low. Maybe you're listening to all these different gurus talk about all the different ads you need to run. Well, today I'm going to set it all straight for you. I'm going to make it so simple. It's literally an agent with no tech skill that just got the real estate license can generate leads today. So stay tuned and be with me on this, guys, because this will change some of your lead generation strategies immediately. Now, let's talk about lead generation. I'm a firm believer that you should have multiple streams of leads coming in, right? Um, I know there's been a lot of talk, a lot of smack talk about Zillow and and you know how their iBuyer program just collapsed on them, which it should have. Uh, what they were doing to the market was terrible. But there are agents, I just spoke to one last week, that are paying a lot of money and generating good, solid leads. Now, if you don't have a $4,000 plus a month budget, it might not be worth your time at this stage. If, you, if you're not closing two or three deals minimum a month, Jumping on the Zillow lead wagon might not be in your best interest yet because it's very expensive up front. It takes a little while for these leads to actually manifest and get to a closing. So you have to be prepared if you go that route to weather the financial storm up front. Same thing with Realtor.com and these other leads. Now, I'm not a big fan of Realtor.com, but I'm not going to get into that right now in this video. I, I do know there are other sites. You can Google them, uh, sites that provide leads for a uh, uh, like a 25% referral fee, 30%. So there's some, some of those. I've got a couple of those uh, lead sources myself. Um, you can generate leads on Google uh, doing pay-per-click. You can generate leads with direct mail. And guys, I have the best direct mail program on the planet. If you're looking to get into direct mail, I'm not going to put a link down there. Just comment and I'll DM you strategies that I use for direct mail. Uh, you can also do open houses, uh, cold call. I mean, guys, the list goes on and on. But today we're going to focus in on just simple Facebook lead generation strategies and how to get it done. Uh, now I'm going to share my screen in just a minute and walk, literally walk you through how I did it. Because I did this strategy yesterday and it's yielded a ton of results in the last 12 to 15 hours, right? So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. There we go. The first thing that I did was I jumped into my MLS, right? Now, let me let me change this up just a hair. There we go. There we go. So what I did is, with this strategy, I'm looking to get buyer leads, and I want to take a home that's already listed for sale in my county. Now, you can do it by zip code. You can do however you want. I'm just telling you how I did it. Um, because all of my listings in the last couple, probably the last four to five, I've sold all my listings. Uh, I cleared the deck, if you will, and I'm actively hunting some new. I've got a listing getting ready to hit. I like to use a strategy on my own listings because I like to find buyers for my own listings, but that's a whole different video. But if you don't currently have a listing, here's how you're going to do this. First, you're going to log into your MLS. And what I do is I do a detailed search for my county. So I'm going to go ahead and look for anything active. And for the county, I want to say Lake. Right now, you can take and, and, and segment your price points. Like, I don't want anything below this. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, well, let me do this. Let me say anything under 200. Okay. Let's see how many searches. Just 125 in Lake County, Florida, right? That are active. Uh, I also don't want any short sales. Okay. Um, I'm looking for pretty much everything else, right? Um, so once I have all of that, then I'm going to go down here and say, now this is where this number is going to change drastically. I want to go ahead and just look for office name. I want just my brokerages. So there's 12 listings. Uh, let's go back up here and say 150 plus. There we go. 38 matches. Now that means in Lake County, Florida, there are 38 homes that match 
uh, with my brokerage. And the reason why I'm doing this for my brokerage is uh, since I'm with eXp Realty, um, you know, we, we tend to really flock together as agents. We, we do a lot of online training. So we're, we work well together. Hopefully in your brokerage, if you're not eXp, you guys have that same, uh, that same type of atmosphere, right? So with this strategy, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the results. And I'm going to scroll through all of these houses until I find a house I'm interested in marketing. So let's take this one that just hit the market, okay? This is in a 55 plus community. I probably wouldn't market that. So I'm going to continue looking until I find something that's not 55 plus and something that I think would be marketable to the target audience that I want to go after. And we'll just scroll through a couple of these till we come to something I think. Okay, right there. Um, I kind of like that one. Uh, let me look around. A and I'm going to look at, <coughs> guys, pardon me, guys. <coughs> I'm going to look at every single one of these until I find a couple that I'm interested in. So let's just take this one right here, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to get her email address. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to come over here to my email. So let me do this again. I'm going to copy her name. I've got a pre-written canned email just for agents in my county. So on this canned email, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say hello from a fellow. So the topic or the subject is hello from a fellow EXP agent. What I'm going to add to this, and I should have done this when I created it, but I didn't. I don't feel like recreating it. I'm going to say Kelly with EXP Realty here. And I would like to include your home at. So here's where I go back here and I will copy this. Guys, this is so simple. I'm going to copy this. And I always do this. I always, always do this. I'm going to copy this as a plain text, right? So that's done. And then change this. And then there we go. That's my, that's it. And then I'm going to hit send. I've already reached out to her and she's responded. But once I've got that out, I'm going to go back to the MLS. And of the 38 homes, let's say I find eight of them I want to market. And I get two people responding back. Hey, Kelly, go. Now, guys, I'm emailing them, but I'm also going to call them if it's a really good home and I want to market it. So what's going to happen is you're going to get an email. So here's what I did yesterday, guys. And I've already started marketing his home. I said, good morning. Kelly here. I'm going to run some paid ads, blah, 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 blah. And he responded back within an hour. Hey, Kelly, go ahead and do it. And that's all I require. If I'm going to spend my dollars marketing his house, just email me back and let me know that I've got your permission. And guys, this is critical. Never, never, ever run a Facebook ad on another agent's listing without some kind of verifiable communication from them that you have the go ahead. You could, you could run cross grain with some of the commissions. Um, so I'm going to keep you out of trouble, right? So now that I've got his permission, I'm going to go, I'm going to head over here. And this is, this is the software guys that I use and I'm not doing a full listings to leads breakdown. There's so much you can get on YouTube for how powerful this software. Let me tell you how much it costs. This software costs $40 a month. If you add their text to call feature, it's another $9. I pay under 50 a month. This thing does a bazillion things, which I'm not getting into right now, but this is to me, one of three softwares. I think every real estate agent should have will make your life easier, help you convert more deals and make you look like a professional. But what I want to talk about today is how we generate ads. So if I go over here to listings right here, here is that listing that I got permission, right? So here's what happened. It took me less than two minutes to add his listing to my dashboard. Here's what it looks like. And they, this was created for me instantly. I didn't do any of this. Here's the single property website. There it is. Right there. Right? It's all done. Now, I'm not going to do a walkthrough on, on all of the different marketing tools you get. But what I want to show you is how easy it is. So this is High Street, right? When I created the ad, I just simply went to the Ads tab. And then I said, Create a Listing Ad. I'm going to use that. Lead ads, create. Now, I'm not going to launch this because it's currently launched. I launched it yesterday, and I'll show you the results in a minute. So there's the ad right there. I just have to change what page it's going to, uh, change lifetime budget to daily budget. And you can do 
ten dollars, whatever you're comfortable with. I would suggest not going any less than five bucks a day. And guys, you could stop and start it. Now, what's really good about this is once you get your listings to leads platform, and I think I already said this, there's a 30 day free trial to this software on the description. Go get this thing. Um, but once you get your dashboard, you're going to go through the walkthrough. You're going to set up your business Facebook page, uh, all of your pixels. They'll walk you through all of that. It's very simple, super, super simple. But once all of that's done and it's connected, I literally can publish this ad and it will be live. When I published this ad yesterday, within 30 minutes, I got a, a, a message from Facebook that my ad was live. Now, if you want to see an example of this ad, let me go ahead and pull this up. And here is where we are right now with this ad. Let's go here. Here's the sample of the ad. Okay, there's the ad live on Facebook. Click uh, for selling in Leesburg. Click, click below or text this to this. This is, guys, this was all done for me. I did none of this. This was all done for me, right? That's an example of the ad. Here's what's happened as of 30 minutes ago. And remember, this, had to, this ad has only been active for about 12 hours, right? Eight leads, name, phone number, email address at 91 cent a lead. Guys, if you've been struggling, if you've done Facebook ads and, and you've you've gone on YouTube and you've bought courses and you know that creating an ad like this manually could take you 30 minutes to an hour just to find out that it did not get approved. If you forgot even clicking the special housing category, you could get banned, right? They take care of all of that. Their AI writes this copy. I mean, done for you, right? So now that you've got the ad running and you've got uh, some leads coming in, now what? Well, a couple things. You, you need to pick up the phone and call them. Hey, this is, I noticed you were looking at a Facebook post on a house in Leesburg, and I just wanted to call and introduce myself. Uh, find out if you guys had any questions. The market's really crazy right now. Have you guys thought about purchasing in the next 12 months? Would you like some local information that can help you guys out? Start the conversation. The other thing that I do is I go into KV Core. Now, all of these leads, I'm with eXp Realty. We use KV Core. All of these leads automatically sync up to my platform and they're coming into my account. So when I opened it up this morning, I saw all of the uh, nine leads that we generated have popped into my account already. All I did today was log in and start them on a drip campaign. And here's what it looks like. This is a drip campaign inside of KV Court. It goes out for, this one goes out for 25 days. So here's a preview of the first email, right? There it is right there. Boom, that goes out. 30 minutes later, there's the text that goes out. An hour one preview. Hey, blah, 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 blah. So all of this goes on and on and on and on and on. So, Again, recap, Facebook leads, they do not need to be difficult. Even though I have some tech knowledge, I'm not super techie, but I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm probably more advanced than a good majority of agents, but there's other agents out there that are way more tech savvy than me, like way more. Guys, I didn't need to be tech savvy. When I logged on and got my listings to leads account, I just took the time to watch their videos. I set up my, um, my account right, my picture, my logo, blah, 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 phone, all of that. And then I watched their video on setting up my Facebook pixel so we could track it. Not going to go into detail on that right now, but guys, how simple was that? I, I literally showed you how you could go into your MLS, collaborate with local agents in your brokerage. I don't care if you're Keller, if you're Caldwell, EXP, it doesn't matter. Talk to the agents in your county. Hey, this is Kelly. Jim, I saw your listing. We're in the same brokerage. Would you mind, right? I mean, do that. When you get a couple of them that say, say yes, it took less than two minutes to take that entire listing from the MLS. The software did it for me and created a complete marketing suite of tools, including a done for me ad. It took me less than a minute to launch the ad. 20 minutes later, it was live and already in literally less than a day, nine leads under 90 cent or 91 cent. Guys, that's how you're going to do it. So in recap, Look below if you're interested in doing what I'm doing. Grab the 30-day uh, free trial to listings to leads. Uh, come back and drop some comments. Matter of fact, come back when you're running ads and getting results. Come back to this video and let me know what your successes are. I'd love to hear it. When you get on the listings to leads, you're also going to get access to their private mastermind group. There's like 12,000 agents. 
Uh, give me a shout out when they accept you and let everybody know that I led you there. I love to see it because if you tag me, we'll, we'll be able to communicate back and forth. And I want to see some of the successes that you're having. And remember, guys, this is a marathon. This is not a sprint, right? The goal is to generate as many leads as you can and then to work the leads. Guys, it does no good to generate the leads if you don't have systems. So take some time to develop some email campaigns, text campaigns. Focus in on your offers. I don't know if you saw this or not. Let me pull this back up. Uh, this first email, I go over a couple offers. Access to homes located in zero down areas. That's USDA. I'll negotiate on your behalf to get the sellers to pay part of all of your closing costs. I will give you moving boxes. I cover your first day moving truck fees. If you have to sell the home, I give you an 18 month love it or list it for free guarantee. I cover up to this much of your home. Guys, I have offers in play for these potential buyers. Get your offers in play. Uh, get your offers honed in. You know, don't be a commodity agent. When you when you generate these leads, don't call the lead up and say, Hey, are you thinking about buying a home? You know, you need to talk to my lender and and you, no, start the conversation. Don't go to the hotel room before you even dated, right? All right, ninjas, that's it. This is a super powerful strategy. I'm telling you, trust the ninja on this. This stuff works. All right, guys, have a great day. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.